Roll out the barrels, we'll have a barrel of fun. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning and happy Thursday, February 20. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. I just got done putting on my makeup and I I'm I'm trying the you can see right here the um this color of color pop and I think I'm gonna I don't know I because I, I don't have them the coordinating eyeliner for this one so I'm not sure that I like the black eyeliner with the this color so color pop I'm gonna have to order some eyeliner to go with this this mascara I did like the purple, and let me tell you, I love this liquid gel eyeshadow. I'm gonna order more of that. I think this one is called, oh, I think I showed you yesterday. I think that's what that says. I'll put it on the screen. I don't have my glasses on, as you can see, but I don't know if I like the, the aqua with the, with the dark eyeliner, so I'm gonna, we're going to go to the Old Faithful. Oh, there's Mark's closet. We're going to go to the Old Faithful of the Thrive Ma Mascara. Uh, this is the guest room, by the way, if you don't know. That's Mark. Well, once our kids moved out, because um, we shared a closet about that size, then Mark took this closet. And so now we each have our own closet. I should probably have just taken over this closet since this is where my makeup table is. Anyway... I have a vamp sale today at one. It's a jewelry sale, so I'm going to do that. I also um, have to edit a video. I'm going to do that as soon as I get to the shop. I didn't do it last night. I just, I just, I was tired. I just didn't want to do it. Just, just didn't want to do it. So I'm going to do it this morning. I woke up pretty early so I could get to the shop to do it. And I also have to get things ready for Tuesday's sale because Mark and I are going away for the weekend. So I've got to, um, I've got to do that and then have my sale today. So, I mean, it's not that exciting of a day today. I am going to try to get over to Riverside. That's why I really want to get to the shop and get my video edited. I'm going to try to get over to Riverside really quick because I like to go on Thursdays. Um, I'm going to see if I can get there before my sale. I don't know if it's going to happen today. We will do our very, very best to make sure we can do that. But I don't know. I don't know. If anything, we'll, we'll wander down to Star City Thrift before the sale today. Because I, I can just walk. I can just walk there. So, all right. I'm going to do this. And then we're going we're gonna to make our coffee from home. We're making it from home. And then we're going to get to the shop and get a video edited. Well, the inside of the house, I still have to take down all of the Valentine's Day things. But look what I just did to Guccifer. Guccifer's ready for the Easter Bunny. That's so cute. Look at its little tail. MilesKimball.com is where you can get the blow mold. Yeah, hello. Where you can get the blow mold goose. Guccifer is concrete. But... That's adorable. We're, we're skipping St. Patrick's Day. I'm sorry, but we're going straight into Easter. Right, aren't we, Maybell? Okay. Well, I just wanted to share Goosefer with you. He's so cute. Now, the, now uh, Goosey Lucy's naked. I have to put her costume on her still, but I just wanted to show you Goosefer. So cute. See, Goosey Lucy, Lucy she's, she's still naked, but I still have all the Valentine's Day stuff up, so I got to work on that. See, it's just all still Valentine's Day in here. Still Valentine's Day. Right, kids? It's dark, but we got to get that stuff down. I don't know. Well, maybe tonight. I don't know. I'm also doing laundry. What do you think, Maybelle? We have to do laundry this weekend, so we have clothes to wear on our little trip. You get to stay with Pap Hall, though. <laughs> so yesterday, Maybelle got in big trouble because she was very mean to Mr. Fluffer Pants, but she is, she's gotten back into my good graces, and she's apologized. So she's going to be a good girl today. Yeah. That's right. And you don't be mean to Mr. Flufferpants because he is my child. So, oh my God, I got all this stuff. I got to take boxes and stuff. I just had to, I had to order some new, um, some more shipping supplies. Yes, or er, actually I woke up in the middle of the night about two o'clock in the morning thinking I need to order shipping supplies. 
get on Amazon and I order some boxes and some paper and stuff. You're, are you like that? Like, what, in the middle of the night, oh, I gotta get this. And then you all go online and you, oh, I don't know. What? Okay. I'm gonna give her her treat and then we're gonna get to the shop because we got a lot to do this morning and I, I'm already like mad at myself. And I just talked yesterday about giving ourselves a little bit of grace and not, you know, beating ourselves up. But I'm beating myself up. Oh, don't look at the mess in my house. I'm beating myself up because I didn't do my work last night. And I need to do that this morning, which puts me behind. But I'm not going to do that. When we get to the shop, we need to do our affirmations so I can get in a little bit better of a mind space. I think we're going to need to do that. Also, did you know that bully sticks, Maybelle, are actually bull's penis? Did you know that? She's like, I don't really care. I like it. Okay, bye. Okie dokie, I just got to the shop and I had some boxes that came in. I had to unload those, but when I, my shelf gets a little bare like that, then I'm like, oh, I gotta order some more. I also need to go on USPS.com and get some more 12 by 12 by eight and seven by seven by six boxes. So. I need to do that at some point today too. But people ask me all of the time what sizes boxes I use the most. Seven by seven by eight, six, both in the USPS and I only have two. I need to get some more of those of the, just the regular brown ones because you cannot ship things ground in a priority box. And if things are going far away from where I am, then I want to be able to send it ground. It gets there really in about the same amount of time. You still get, you know, I, I, I want to save my customers. I want to get them, their item to them as quickly as possible and as safely as possible and as cheap as possible. So I need to order some more of those brown 7x7x6 seven by seven by boxes. These are 10 by 8 by 6 boxes and 8 by 6 by 4 boxes. Those are the ones that I use the most. Um, Mark can sometimes, and he does, he brings me some boxes that he gets from work. And I'll recycle those. And I recycle, obviously, any Amazon box that I get. But I've just placed a big order for 10 by 8 by 6 and 8 by 6 by 4, as you can see there. Although I've only got one bundle of 8 by 6 by 4 left. Anyway, and then I also, I really like, and I like to keep them on hand, are 12 by 12 by 3. They're like a long, narrower, square box. So if you're, I don't know, I just, I like to have these on hand as well. So those are the boxes that the sizes that I recommend. But anyway, I sold these Dolly Pops on eBay overnight. So I'm going to get these ready to go. Um, I've just printed off some labels. I'm starting to get things ready for Tuesday sale. Um, I've just kind of pulled some things. I usually just pull things and then I'm like, then I'll like square away. But I'm going to start pulling out some Eastery type things. Oh, Virginia! Oh, Virginia glass. That's a beautiful vase. Gonna sell, try to sell that one in this little Fostoria. I got some more recipes. Cats, Rimple, Chalkware, those little critters, some more Rimple. Oh, and some ephemera. It's gonna be kind of he a heavy ephemera. I've got some vintage uh, magazines and antique magazines down there as well. And then I've created lot two lots of 10 children's books so i'm gonna i've got to actually go through all these and make sure i have all of the eraser the price marked out of those so that's going to be on tuesday one o'clock on youtube oh here's some more books as well hi mister what are you doing mm, he's my little buddy this adventure of a brownie oh my gosh the, the illustrations in these two books this is johnny gruel so he is the author of the raggedy ann and andy line of books this one has its original dust jacket see isn't that great oh i love this is like a treasure to me when i find the books these older books with their original dust jacket so those, these are antique or getting on the line of antiques. They have beautiful illustrations. Friends of ours, um, Samuel E. Lowe and Elmer Sherwood are the authors of those. And then this push out and paste without paste. Look at the graphics. That would be so cute for an Easter display. Under the sky, these are really beautiful illustrated 
uh, children's readers. I'm hoping that I can get to all these. I, I might have pulled way too many things. This box right here is, is full, chock full. If you like junk journaling, actually not these two. These two are actual books. Pull those aside. There, these are like just a bunch of loose pages that can be framed. This one, the cat and the fox. I think the book is pretty much all the way there, but it's just in pieces. I don't even know if there's a copyright on this. 1930. Meow, meow. Oh, that fox looks like he's getting ready to eat something. But I think that most of the pages are there. Look at that cat. But, um, oh, and this one's beautiful too. Look at her. But they're all loose pages. So I thought, I think I'm going to sell them as a lot. But you can see like this was a cover of a children's book. But they're all just loose pages. I don't know. I'll have to look through to see if there's any Ruthie Newton and that sort of thing. But you can do you can you could frame these. A lot of great illustrations. And they're just, I mean, at this point, it's art to me. So um I don't know. I'm gonna have to like look through here to see if you know what what illustrators were we got going on here. But gotta sit and see how many things I might have pulled but way too many things I am going to sit and edit the video first um, I've pulled the items for the jewelry sale and last night before I left the shop well the jewelry sales today so I've got all of the jewelry ready to go I'm gonna I've pulled a few things just to like to do an auction um, with some of these items I've got my bags ready to go there with that item I got my loop um, these are going to, that's going to be an upcoming sale, but then Friday, which is, well, by the time this video goes up, this would have already been sold, but I've got these ready to go on Friday as well. So just trying to get all of my ducks in a row, but the, a, a big duck that I have to get in a row is to get my pictures and reel done for Tuesday's sale to put up on Instagram and pictures to put up on YouTube before I go away over the weekend. So that is done and off of my mind. And I haven't filmed a thing for them. There has been no videos going up on the Misty show this week. None. I've got to figure something out. I thought last week, oh, I'm going to have time to do it. And I didn't. So I've, I've got to, I've got to figure it out. Cause I have like, <sighs> I just got another box, two boxes yesterday of things that I need to do for the Misty show which is basically unboxing and clothing tried on and that sort of thing. I just haven't had time to do it. I've just got to, I've got to, I've got to get that figured out. I've got, that's got to, that's got to happen. So, all right, I'm going to, um, you know what? Hang on. We need to do our affirmations because I need to get into a better headspace. Oh, I've got friend mail down here to open too. Mm -hmm. Feeling a little overwhelmed. Maybe I can sit down here and we'll do this affirmation together and we'll get in a better mood. I mean, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just, come here tripod. I'm just in an overwhelmed mood this morning. So hopefully we'll pick us a good, pick us a good affirmation to get us in a better headspace. So let's do that now. Hi. <sighs> let's have some coffee. Also, our ice machine isn't working, so this is like ha warm. I like iced coffee. I know it's like good coffee, Misty. I like iced coffee more than I like hot coffee. And then, like, can you think you're making iced coffee and then it's not cold? Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I tried to work on the ice machine and it just wasn't happening. So we'll see. Okay, January twenty second is actually the day that I'm reading this today. So. I didn't know what day it was earlier, but it's the 22nd. Okay, February, not January. Now I'm going back in time instead of going forward. It's February, February 22nd. You don't need approval. Don't concern yourself with what others think of your choices. Instead, firmly stand for them. Your decisions are your own. You choose how you show up in the world and who you spend your time with. Do whatever brings you to your knees with joy. Oh, I love that. 
Do whatever brings you to your knees with joy. That should be like embroidered on a pillow, I think. Oh, wait, I didn't finish it. Hang on. I mean, I like that, but I didn't. There's a comma there, not a period. Do whatever brings you to your knees with joy, gratitude, and belonging. And do not seek approval from others. Know what is right for you may not be right for someone else. And that's okay. Stand in all that you choose with no approval needed. I like that. But I like the, the shortened version. Do whatever brings you to your knees with joy. We're going to do our um, happier me affirmation cards. Oh, I'll have you know. Since we're getting low, I did order in my 2 a.m. Amazon order. I did order um, another set of affirmation cards because these are going to be over before too long and we need more. Now that positive thinking is for the entire year. All right. Oh my gosh. This is one that I needed today. Well, I have to read it. I am able to accomplish anything I set my mind to. I wish I could accomplish adding more hours into the day. That would be great. You know, luckily it's becoming, it's staying lighter. It's getting lighter in the morning and it's staying lighter more at night, at least where I am. But this says, what is it that you desire and you haven't succeeded at yet? Making more time into the day. Divide and conquer. Give yourself time and divide your plan into small pieces. After each victory, you will feel uplifted and ready to do more. Boy, that's the truth because as soon as I get that video edited, I'm going to feel like I got something done today. And then I'll be like, okay, on, and after I get that reel done. I think sometimes that is so true. You know, like I'm sitting here right now and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. And you may be feeling overwhelmed in whatever it is that's going on in your life. And if you just tackle one thing at a time and you check that thing off your list, one thing that's a really good idea to do, and I haven't done this in a while, I used to do it and it was helpful, and I probably should start doing it again, is making a list of the things that I want to get accomplished in a day. Like a realistic list, you know, not, you know, an unrealistic list. I mean, like things that you could actually accomplish in a day. And just tick those things off. And you do feel like, okay, look at me. I was so hard on myself, but look at all I got done today. Chick, 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 chick. I wish I could had a, I, I wish I had the power to, um, you know, make more hours in a day, but I don't have that. I don't have that skill set or power. Okay. What I am going to do is go sit down and get this video edited so it can go up this afternoon. And, um, but I'll pop in here in a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully. We can get down to over to Riverside or down to the thrift store. I also have friend mail. We have friend mail that we need to open. I, golly, I feel so bad. It makes me feel so guilty that I just don't open it up right away. But I, I've got to get that. We've got to get that done too, because y'all are so kind and so sweet, and I just feel like I'm just not being very kind back by not opening it yet. But I promise I'm going to get to it. I don't think it's going to be today. But hopefully tomorrow we'll get to it. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get to it. But I do feel like all I'm doing is opening things. And I don't know if you guys really like that. I need to, I need to like do some other con see, here I am. Do what me I need to do what brings me to my knees with joy. I think I get caught up in my head thinking, well, they only want to watch me shop. They only want to watch me going to antique places. They don't care that I'm opening a box of stuff that my dad's had for 40 years. But that's probably just me arguing with myself. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go and I'm going to edit this video. I am feeling better though. So the those cards do help. They do. All right, let's go get this video edited. Okay, I have like an hour before my vamp sale. But if, as long as it's not raining, I'm going to look and see if it's raining. But I'm going to walk down to Star City Thrift and um, see if we can find anything. It's just like literally $2 down. Okay, i got to open this door. Okay, it is not raining. So I'm going to take a few little steps down here to Star City Thrift. And see what we can see what the fellas got today. Look here. 
we got a little fairy lamp here. It's a milk glass fairy lamp, so I like that. And I saw, I have been getting into it, and I don't know why. I just think that they're so pretty. So this says, as is, and, and Lynn, I appreciate he put as is. That is such a nice thing to do, because sometimes it people is. don't really yeah, see. Where, I don't even see it. I know. Here's Lynn, by the way. Yeah. Richard's still not here yet. No. <laughs> and is your phone down? at and is No, where I'm Verizon. Oh, okay. Where's it at? Oh, right yeah, there. that's like hardly Just anything. barely. That's so pretty. I'm like into the baskets right now, yeah. which is not normally my vibe, but I don't no, think about that so one. Like, oh, he's coming oh, in. Oh, oh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he's a ride. Oh, he, he's a baby. But this Where's is Richard. Wilbur? Where is Wilbur? I left him at Oh, we'll have to meet Wilbur another day. Well, this is Richard, the other owner of Star City Thrift. So now you can both be in the vlog. <laughs> oh, boy. We were just saying, where's Richard? He's not here yet. I had to stop at the pharmacy. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good excuse, I suppose. <laughs> we're just giving you a hard time, you know. All right. I'm going to put this on the counter. I'm going to take a look around. I've got, like, just a little bit of time just to waste before uh my sale at one look at this little girl here she is a left end this is a little artist she's great her, her little uh doodads are are good so i saw this too what is that oh it's a little it's a little perfume oh, that's a nesco well and i'm like getting into these like little nappy things too i don't know why Occupy Japan. Isn't that beautiful, though? I don't know. Maybe it's in my older age. I'm just, like, appreciating <laughs> different things a little bit more. These are beautiful, too, these glasses. Here, aren't those pretty? There are three different ones out of three glasses. Those are really pretty. Those would be pretty as little votives. So you could put a candle in there. And I really like the colors for spring. I think I'm going to get those. Those are really pretty. Every time I come in here, I look at this Mary. This Mary figurine. I think that she's got beautiful collars on her. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. And maybe I'll, I'll get her when I'm when I'm back down here. But I don't know. It just... It, I, I don't know. I don't know. Look at you, little bunny. You're cleaning house. You are. And I see this cat all the time, too. He's a cat that you can hang on your wall. You can hang him on. He can climb up your wall. And I keep looking at him. I might. I don't think I'm going to get him today, but he's, he keeps bugging me. But he's like, buy me, Misty. I'm just on the shelf. I can hang on somebody's wall. I just don't know if I want to get him today. Look at you. Look at these little kitty cats, though. Meow, meow. I bet these might be a Nesco from the 80s, possibly. There is Capa de Monte. That's beautiful for spring, isn't it? The thing that I like about Capa de Monte is when you can see people's thumbprints from when they made it. Little Westmoreland cat. Meow, meow. Ooh, look at you. Little chalkware. He's heavy, too. Little chalkware cat there. I'm just going to do a quick little run because I want to get back and settled before my sale at one this is pendleton i do believe look at the little bun Oop! look at the bunny's face i don't want my hair brushed yep pendleton they're made in england um a lot of people like to collect these look look, look at the little pockets and stuff that's really really cute but that face oh goodness look at this picture <laughs> that is so cute it's been professionally framed, but this hand-painted canvas with this, I guess it's like a hillbilly guy getting a bath. I think that would be cute in a bathroom. It's $5. I'm going to get that. I don't know. I just think that it's neat. That's just kind of my kind of humor to hang up in my bathroom. Well, I just got back with my little haul, and I showed you everything that I got, but Richard gave me a whole box of sugar. Look at that, a whole box of sugar, sugar in there all. So I'm going to use that for my old coffee. So that was so sweet. So if you're in Bedford, make sure that you go down to Star City Thrift. 
They're excellent. It's a great little shop. Okay, so just getting back from Star City Thrift. I got my sale over there, but I had a sale on Vamp. And it was an offer that I accepted. Did you know that you can... you? can um, request an offer. If you like something, you can send a request for an offer and they did or and they asked for an offer and I accepted, I guess. Uh, another puzzle. So this little play school with the dog. So the puzzles have been selling. I mean, it's not a huge profit, you know, but I paid 99 cents a piece for them. Um, so I'll take it and they've been sitting on my shelf for a long time. So I'm okay with that, and they're very easy to ship. And these are the, these are the things that are a perfect example of what is great to ship in the 12 by 12 by 3 box. I mean, I could wrap this in cardboard as well. I still haven't shipped that yet. I need to do that. So I'm going to ship these, ship that, and then it's going to be time for the sale. After the sale is over, I'll pop in, uh, and then... What time is it? Maybe I'll open, maybe I'll open one, one thing friend mail real quick. Cause I, I, I feel so bad about this. So let me sit down and we'll open up maybe one or two boxes of friend mail. So let's do that now. Okay. This is from Ladybird. Ladybird Johnson? No, it's not Lyndon Baines Johnson's wife. It's just Ladybird, and she lives in Missouri. Mm, and this is the box. You know, I'm going to open it upside down. I like to do that sometimes. It makes life a little bit more interesting when you open things up upside down. Makes it like a little challenge sometimes. Ladybird. La, 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 Ladybird. I see my man in this box. I see him. <gasps> ah, I don't have this one. I don't have this one. Liberace. By the time I got... No. By the time I get to Phoenix. I don't know that song. By the time I get to Phoenix. Live for life. Sunrise. Sunset. Sunrise, sunset, born free, as free as the wind blows. How insensitive, Moonlight Sonata. I like that song. The Rosary, Litzik Concerto in A major, and this is all I ask. Look at Liberace and his little, what's that called? What's that called? Scarf thing that you wear around your neck. Not a monocle, that's what you'd wear on your eye. <gasps> I know, I have that one, Ladybird. It's a Liberace day. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know if I have this one. I have to look because Mark, you know, he did a, a thing for me. Mr. Showmanship. Yes. Three o'clock in the morning. Chop six. Dun, 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 dun. I've had a little bit of caffeine. Oh, the theme from outer, outer space. Beer barrel polka. Roll out the barrels. We'll have a barrel of fun. I do have this one. I do have this one. But that's okay. Because I like more. Look at Liberace in his fur coat. He's so fancy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. It's shaped like a piano. I love you, Liberace. He knows. Aw, Liberace. What I would have given... Oh, and the queen. The queen. What I wouldn't have given to be able to meet Liberace. He probably would have thought I was pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. It's like, this lady's loud. She needs to get out of my house. <gasps> Look at this. This is me. This is me in cupy form. The instructive. I don't know about that part, but look. Glasses, cutie. Oh, look at this little butt. That is adorable. Ladybird. You know what? I was in such a foul mood this morning, and you just turned it around. <gasps> and all this paper that I'm going to be able to reuse. I've got the things I can keep all my memos in. Oh, look. Okay. Let me put this back on there. Ladybird is Gale. Love you. Oh, no. No, I got to read this. Love ya gal, Ladybird, who is Wendy Sparrow. 
Stay weird. That's right. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Thank you so very much, Wendy. Wendy Ladybird, not Lyndon Bain Johns' wife. That was a sweet box. Okay, what time is it? 12.24. Let's open this one. This one's from Jessica. I was just corresponding with Jessica Wessler this morning. She is coming to the pop-up. And she inquired about something. And I'm just going to save it and give it to her when she comes. So, this is from Jessica and the fellas and her puppers. <laughs> Crazy to see what she wrote on here. Hey, sexy lady. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know that song, but I don't know who sang it. So here's her card, Misty. Who do we love? Well, I love a lot of people. I do. I have a lot of people that I love. Oh, look, of course. Uh, Jessica has wiener dogs. Oh, something just fell out. Oh, there they are. This is Jasper, Gus, and Harley. Now, I don't know which one is which. Let me see, Jessica, if I can guess. Let me get a look at their face. I'm going to think that this one is Harley, Jasper, and Gus. Did I get her? Oh, wait. She even wrote instructions left to right. Would be help if I would have read. Left to right. So we've got Jasper, Gus, and Harley. I think I was completely wrong. Look at those babies. I love Scotty dogs. They have such weird little bodies. It's like they're a little man. They're a little old man in dog form. All right. Hey, gorgeous. I'm late to this, Valentine. I was on an adulting strike. I'm always on an adulting strike. Enclosed is something to add to your lovely lady's gallery wall. I love these vintage lithos. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Jean Harlow. I've also sent a pic of the three cutest pups this side of the Mason Dixon. We watch your vlogs on loop while we work, so they know you. I figured it was time to officially that they've that we officially made you their fairy dog mother. I proudly accept. Um, feel free to share the pic. Well, I'm glad that I, I mean, I would have edited that out if you didn't want me to share the pic, but I shared it. Wishing you a special Valentine's Day. We love you and send you heaps of. Heaps and piles of hugs and puppy snuggles. Love Jessica, Harley, Jasper, and Gus. I'll have to put this over there next to little baby Zachy's picture. These are like my um, my nephews. Those are my nephews. My nephew dogs. All right. So this is a picture that... And Jessica, I, do I have my gallery wall done? No. Have I been talking about it for four years, it seems like? Yes. I'm having a hard time just making the commitment of hanging them. I just have them all piled up. All right, let's see. Ooh, she does look like Jean Harlow. Look at how lovely she is. Beautiful. It says, deep in a dream. Oh, man, I cannot see the artist. Right there. There is the artist. And it. Deep in a dream. She's beautiful. Thank you, Jessica. I love that. Yep, that's going to go in my to be hung on Misty's wall. Okay, we got time. You know what? It'd be great if we had time to open all of these. Good hope. All right, so this one is from Sheila um, Ger Gebhardt, and she lives in Oregon. This is pretty. Happy belated Valentine's. Happy belated. That's a cool little poly bag there. From she, oh, Sheila. La, 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 the only one. <gasps> this, is, this is a day. This is a day for, this is a day of Lee. Because looky here. Now, we do have two of these now. That's okay. I think you, wait. I think you have. She said, I think you have. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. Is this the same one? He did a couple different variations. It looked like... No, they're different. See? They're different. I say he did a couple different variations of... Like, it's the same picture, but different songs. And see, these are different songs on there. So, that's okay. Oh, look at how cute. So, this is like scrapbook paper. 
that can be cut up. It looks like little vintage Valentines. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It looks like Batman. I'm batty about you. You're out of this world. Adorable. Oh, that, look, there's Colin. He's a mailman. Emma's fiance, Colin. And then this is sugar babies. We could not pass this up, she says. Sugar babies. Mickey Rooney. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right. So this is an older, I mean, this was a, probably a repro, well, maybe not. So Terry Allen Kramer, Harry Rigby, uh, Mickey Rooney, and Ann Miller was in Sugar Baby. So I'll have to do a little bit more research on this too. I'm trying to see if there's a date on here. Ernest Flat. It is vo the vocal selections, but look at how great this is. Sugar Babies. Look at those girls on the top. You know, because Ann Miller and Mickey Rooney were both child actors. So this could have been earlier in life or later in life for them. But I wouldn't have left that behind, too. That's fantastic. Amazing Misty. Ooh, what's in here? I gotta open up this little thing. I probably should have opened up the card first, Sheila. But you know, I do things backwards sometimes. Oh my gosh, I have this in a small little postcard. And now this one is gonna get framed. <laughs> Only Liberace. This is why I loved him. He didn't give a rip. And he knew that dressing like this would bring people in. You know, he laughed all the way to the bank. He did. He sure did. Look at his hairy legs. Now, I don't know why I'm doing circus music, but Liberace, he waltzed out on stage with like that. Look at those shoes, too. Take it all in, ladies or guys, people, humans, country folk, Americans. That's fantastic. I'm going to put that in a frame. That's going to go in a frame. The amazing Misty, she says, oh my gosh, this is so... Sheila, did you make this card? Look at that. It's got little moving hearts on it. That's really cute. Happy Day of Love from Sheila and Liberace. Thanks, Lee. From Oregon. That is really sweet. Thank you so much, Sheila. Just a little bit more. That was very, very kind. I love it. Okay, this little card here is from Angela Kidd, and she lives in Ohio. That's a pretty card. Oh, wow. She sent me package toppers, St. Patrick's Day ones. Look at those. They look very vintage-y in St. Patrick's Day. E. Misty, hello. I just wanted to say thank you for sharing your love of Liberace. I decided to put myself on hold for one of his CDs from the library. Thanks to you now, I enjoy his music too. I'm telling you, I turn his music on a lot when I'm shipping or when I'm... It just, it puts me in a positive space. And especially his Christmas albums are great. Um, uh, I did not know what I was missing, right? Listen, y'all... Go, you can get it on Spotify even, or even YouTube. If you got YouTube, there are music playlists that you can listen to um, on YouTube. And um, Liberace, I'm certain that there is a Liberace playlist on there. I've also found myself singing parts of Cement Mixer. I'm a cement mixer, baby. Um, Elvis did that song too, I think, throughout the day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Angelica from Ohio. And so pretty with the stickers and stuff in there. That's so sweet. So those little stickers there are going to be as package toppers. And this is going to go in my little special card box. Thank you so much. What time is it? We got time. Look at us. We're, we're busy beavers. Okay. This is from Beth. Beth Bendit. And she lives in... Pennsylvania. Oh, and on the box here, I got to cover this up. You make the world a better place by just you being in it. Is that a Mr. Rogers quote? Beth from Pennsylvania. Oh, Sheila. I'll be singing Oh, Sheila for the remainder of the day. All right. I, we got time. Hopefully. I got a sale in half an hour. Hi, Misty. Enclosed is something I know you'll love. I did mention it in a very recent try-on video where uh, 
where item where items are pricey. Wands and bulldozers are pricey. I thought to, I bought two of these items. Wait, I bought two of these and want you to have the other one from one of my favorite sellers on whatnot. Um, you have brought so much joy in my life during a long time of not feeling well and being really frustrated with having few few answers. I wrote you before and sent you the hot stuff kitchen towel. I still use that. In fact, it might be hanging on my dishwasher right now. You were kind enough to give me a, vir a virtual hug during the friend mail video and I really t and I was really touched. Thank you for all you do um, in spreading your happiness. Lots of love, Beth B. You know what, Beth? Gather. Let's all gather around. Everybody, come on. Beth, we're going to do it again. So, okay, I got to move your box out of the way, Beth. Oh, I don't want to set you on Liberace. So let's, we're, we're going to give Beth another hug. So come on, Beth. I'm, I'm actually hugging my tripod right now. We're going to hug you, Beth. So I hope that things are going better for you. And I hope that maybe you're getting some answers because that's very scary not to know. So I hope, I hope that you're getting the answers that you need. Okay, so what did Beth spend? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Yeah, she was, she, I think she would told me you were going to send something you found that you loved. And it was a much better price because I, the wantable was so expensive for a robe. But look, she sent me a robe. That is the sweetest thing. Okay, so she was saying that Maker's Mark, which is, or Member's Mark, which is Sam's Club, have a lot of the clothes that Wantable was trying to sell for like $60, $70. And they sell them the same brand at, um, at Sam's Club. And this is really soft. Do you know what? I might keep this here because I sometimes get cold and I can just put on this coat of this coat, this, uh, this robe that Sheila had sent and, uh, not Sheila, that Beth had sent and, um, and warm myself right up. Cause that's what I was going to do with that other thing. And then I was like, I'm not paying that much for this. So that, this is so sweet. Thank you so much, Beth. That was very, very kind. So every time I put this on, I can think that Beth has given me a hug. See how that works? So Beth was giving me a hug. Thank you guys. You all are so sweet. Really, really and truthfully. I really, really do appreciate it. I, you know, you probably, you sensed my energy when I first came in this morning. It was not good, but I'm feeling much better and much more, I don't know. My attitude's changed. Maybe it's the caffeine. Maybe I just needed the caffeine, but um, I'm feeling much better. All right. We have a sale on VAMP. At one o'clock, it is twelve thirty-eight. Um, I'm going to take a couple swigs of my water and just kind of get, you know, just kind of get ready to go. You know, I usually will pop in a few minutes early because if I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, and I do want to tell you guys too because now that we had the first blitz, the next one will be in not this weekend but next weekend. We're going to do them every two weeks. And we haven't announced the sellers that are going to be participating in the next blitz, but I do want you, I do want to make you aware that the sellers that were on the first blitz now are able to go live. So there are going to be lots of live sales over on VAMP. Um, Flipping Ventiques was on last night. So make sure that you're, you pop in over there. If you're a member of Virtual Antique Marketplace, you should be getting notified when a seller does go live. And just go in there and, I mean, of course, it's beneficial if you're purchasing items from them. But honestly, if you just go in and you're just there and you're being encouraging and you're telling them that they're doing a good job, um, that means so much when someone is live as well. So go over there and have some fun and um, just periodically jump on there and check because... You never know when someone's going to be live. And as we keep doing more of these Blitz events on Virtual Antique Marketplace, there's going to be more sellers that will be going live. Now, not every seller wants to go live, and that's okay. You can shop on Virtual Antique Marketplace 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I, you know, I've, I've done a 2 a.m. shopping on there myself. You know, that's 
I wake up, I wake up at 2 a.m. about every night and then something pops into my head and I'm like, oh, I got to do that. And then, you, you know, you're on, scrolling on your phone for an hour and you're like, it's now three o'clock in the morning and I need to go to sleep. But anyway, anywho, um, so yeah, just go over there and check them out. And um, I know that they would appreciate that. And it, it is, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just so incredibly proud of Vamp and the sellers on there and the whole community at large. So just go over there and check them out. Send them a little encouraging note. Hey, you're doing a good job. Your items are fantastic. Keep it up. You know, it giving somebody a compliment takes 2.5 seconds and that just can really make a difference in somebody's day. So use your energy to be a positive um, complimenter. Again, be a fountain and not a drain. Um, if you're going over there and you're like, I can't see any of your items. You know, sometimes it's all about the way that you say it, it can be encouraging. Anyway, Thank you so much again. And I'm going to go get ready for my sale and we'll pop in. Ah, I've just made a mess over here, but it's a good mess. We'll pop back in and um, after the sale is over, I'm hoping that I can sell this jewelry because, you know, jewelry is just not my thing. It doesn't, it doesn't excite me. So I'd like to just sell it. I'm pretty sure I'm doing like buy, take it all at the end. I think that's what I did. I don't remember. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. I just lost track of time. Sale was over. Ooh, I'm turning off lights because I'm getting ready to leave. Uh, vamp sale was great. It was a lot of fun. So thank you guys all for coming. And I'll get those things shipped out in the morning. Yeah, I mean, that's it. It's all little things, so that won't take me very long. So that will all get done in the morning. And then I will have my other vamp sale tomorrow afternoon, which is all of the cabbage patches. I'm so sorry. I'm just all over the place. Um, but I'm getting ready to leave here and I'm going to end the vlog. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I appreciate you guys coming to the vamp sale. And again, don't forget, go over to Virtual Antique Marketplace and check out all of the other vendors that are having live sales or that are just listing things in their um, their booths. There are so many amazing things on there. It, it's just, I just, it's just a lot of stuff, good stuff on there. So go check out Vamp and the sellers that are on there. And um, tomorrow, I. Don't think I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. I will pick up vlogging again on Saturday just because I've got to get caught up on a bunch of stuff. I know we didn't go over to Riverside today. I'm still going to try to run in there though, but um, I will be vlogging uh, over the weekend when Mark and I are going shopping. So I'm going to give myself the day off of vlogging tomorrow just so I can feel like I can kind of get caught up on everything. Um, so yeah, so I'll be putting up another vlog. Well, I don't know if I'll even put up a vlog over the weekend, but I will be filming so I'm, I'm trying to say I'm not, don't have a, I'm trying to put up vlogs every day, but there's going to be some instances where I, where I don't. So just, I know that you understand. I don't need to, need, don't even need to really explain it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go again. Thank you so much. So, so much for be, all being so very kind. And, and the, the friend mail was, was a lot of fun. So I really do appreciate you all being here. And I will see you in the next vlog. Well, maybe I'll see you tomorrow tomorrow at sale. But you're watching this after the sale is over. So if you came to the sale, thanks. Thanks for coming. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the Virtual Antique Marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Make a ball, head in the hand, put his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.
girl, a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. You can search for miles around, and no one like me can be found.